Jackson Cut. Are you quite alright? Yeah, who was that guy? One of Milgram's henchmen, no doubt. They may have seen me talking to you, I can't be sure. Wait, what? Milgram? What's he doing on this side of the island? You still haven't heard. Milgram's men showed up early this morning in town. They've taken the whole place hostage. Something about collecting on a debt. I don't know the details. I flew out of there as soon as I could. Looking for anyone who could help. That certainly changes my plans for the day. Wow. Uh, I'd sure like to help, but I just don't see what I can do. I don't think I can promise anything, but if the opportunity presents itself, who knows? Yes, it's unreasonable to expect someone to just charge in there. I'm at a loss for a plan myself. Nevertheless, I'd better be going. Hopefully we'll fix that bridge soon. Impressive how fast they can do that, with modular con construction and all. <laughs> In the meantime, you might benefit from visiting the fellow who lives here. Bit of a recluse, but he's quite sharp. He lives on the top of this rock column. And I get up there, how? Simple, just take to the air. You do realise I can't fly. Stupid birds. killed like millions of your kind in the eye of the beholder uh, yeah and I gave your eggs to, to to elves and they like ate them all or something or bred your children as slaves you know one or the other anyway that's nothing to do with this but you know birds are stupid actually I've heard they're quite intelligent like I saw this um, documentary about oh damn what was the things that the Bird's name. Yeah. I remember this. Um. No, I can't. But there's this parrot. I say, who's there? Oh god, wait. Your house is on fire, mate. I better eat the fire. Oh, I can't do that. Yeah, there was this parrot who could like understand things like concepts of color and shape and communicate them and stuff. Like obviously it communicated by speaking, but you could like point him at something and like ask like this this tray of objects and like ask how many green and it would count the number of green objects and, and tell you a number so it wasn't just like doing a, t a trick it was actually like uh, you know uh, co uh, counting and understanding anyway hello there hi I'm Fregato I just walked into your house uh, pleasure to meet you I am Mortimer that's nice um, I hope you don't mind me asking but what on earth are you anyway Obstensi ostensibly, I am a mole. Okay. Perhaps more importantly, I am a bit of an astronomer and biologist by trade. That is why I live all the way up here. You can see quite a bit from this height. And I guess you have these ants in cages to study them? That's right. Unfortunately, my collection lacks the rarer golden ant. Oh. What a shame. You know, you look rather well travelled. Uh, what do you mean? <laughs> if you could bring me a golden ant and stick it in one of my cages, I'd reward you handsomely. Handsomely, you say? I'm on it. Yes, handsome rewards. That's, that's what I'm all about. Handsome rewards for a handsome frog. And your house is still on fire. Or maybe that's supposed to be because that's the fire. Yeah, maybe. Oh, that's the back door. Okay. Right, I guess it's this way. Sort of linearish progression. Oh, ah, good. Save. Save point. Uh, come on. There we go. Yes, I do. The game has been saved. Still can't remember the name of that parrot. Damn it. But there was this, like, there's like a clip of it on, of this documentary on YouTube about 10 minutes long, and it's like. Uh, William Shatner does the, the narration, which is always cool. Ah, I burped a, another bastard at you. Yeah. It's strange how this guy eats things, but then doesn't digest them. It's very odd. Save again. Yeah. Plenty of save points. I like that. Uh, so I guess when I find this golden ant, I've got a you know, not kill it, but to obviously grab it and I'm imagining it's going to be in this hole. Rocker fort. Hmm. It's really nice graphics, I do like it. Hmm. 
the indie developers are really um, exploiting the 2D market. You know, everyone else, ever, ever since 3D came along, 2D's been so neglected. But there's some games that just work better in 2D, like platform games and uh, adventure games. Like, there are some 3D adventure games like Grim Fandango, which I really like, but. You know, the best ones are really, uh, like, Monkey Island and so on. They work better in 2D, I think. Because, especially with the control method in Green Fandango, where you're basically just running everywhere rather than just pointing and clicking. Hmm. Okay, I didn't find anything down here. Whoa, whoa, get off! Ah, oh, I'm stupid. Uh, red one back here. Hmm. Yeah, so, anyway, this, uh, I was hoping to get to town and see what I could buy first, but I'm getting kind of sidetracked. I wonder if there is actually any buying in this game, or if it's all just... Oh, no, there are... Uh, up there, there's two things for points and, uh money so there's no reason to separate this two out unless there is actually a way to make uh, to buy things. Yeah, just save again. Uh, oh god, just get out of here. Whoa, a flying plant. <laughs> yeah, that is weird. <laughs> That's, uh, that's pretty... Oh god. Oh no, no, don't kill me. There's so much to live for. Oh, pink ant. So cute. Just completely unlike ants. Oh. Uh, of course the ants die in the water. Because insects uh, don't breathe. They don't have lungs. They don't breathe through, like, their mouths. They breathe through tiny holes all over their body called spiracles, and they don't need blood because the air just sort of permeates through their uh, through the spiracles and through these tubes into their into their tissues. And so obviously that isn't good for if you're trying to uh, go underwater. You would uh, oh god. Yeah, it would uh, it would drown you obviously. But I've, I think that... Oh god, I can stand on it. Oh, oh god, I can stand on it, but then it hurts. Oh, and then I kill it. <laughs> okay. Oh, get off. No. I'm not sure. I think I'm supposed to go that way, but... I don't see any way up. I thought maybe I'd go on that plant, but... Hmm. Oh well. Yeah. Oop. Not sure where to go now. Is, is it supposed to be linear or is it kind of non-linear? That's the question. Can I get around this way? Oh look, there's a current. I don't mean a very, like a raisin, I mean like, you know, a, a movement of water. You know what I mean. Oh god, I can't get through. Of course I can't. No. Oh well. Uh, oh god. Nasty fish. And there's a current there too. Right. Not sure where to go, really. But, um, secluded hut. But this game has been fun, and I think I've played it for a fair amount. It's, oh, look, health. Uh, come on. Oh, full health anyway. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I think I might leave it there. I'll probably play it, play it some more. I don't know if I'll play it on screen, but, you know, there's only so much commentary you can do about a game like this. But it is fun. I, if you like platform games, I definitely recommend having a go, especially because it's free. So, uh, yeah. Forgot to and friends. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.